Bienvenue à Academy de Magie Bobacton. Thank you guys so much. We're going to kick off Harry Potter week with a hair tutorial. And then afterwards, stay tuned to see which house you'll be sorted into. Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Claire Hair. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial before I get into the houses for Bobacton. So we're going to go in. I'm just showing the braid pattern. Yes, I am aware my hair is not the cleanest. No, you don't have to point it out in the comments. And yes, I appreciate all you guys' support. Thank you guys so much. Um, so you're going to go ahead and we're going to go in with some braids here. And then, I mean, it depends what braid pattern you want to do. I actually had to go back after this. I have to actually go back after this. And I had to re-braid it again because, like, my hair wasn't flat enough. And I didn't want that Humpty Dumpty bump that happens at the top of a wig. But um, that's pretty much it now. I did want to I did want to do a more natural hairstyle for the um school for bow buttons but um I don't know I wanted I wanted like a little wavy look I don't know I just wanted something different y'all um but I'm definitely gonna go in with this I'm just you know just putting some water on it and definitely a deep conditioning shampoo video is coming next week I'm so excited that you guys chose this video to watch for bow buttons I am so excited to just share all the information I've been studying about it so I'm gonna go in with these braids and of course I want to think of more hairstyles as well that would be um you know more braid hairstyles because as the summer months are coming up it's too hot for a wig um for sure i think it's definitely gonna be too hot for a wig so i definitely want to think of some more more braid hairstyles for sure to go in but um, i'm just pretty much just going in with this braid process i sped it up because i know you guys um know me by now but that's pretty much it so i ended up going ahead now this hairstyle right here i think this would be a nice little cute little hey my hair's not dry but i'm still trying to be stylish type hairstyle you know of course with some partings that actually make sense in place but um yeah definitely for sure uh i just went in and i just pretty much pinned it in place right here and then of course i put a wave cap on top of this because i didn't want anything to pull so right here i'm just going ahead and pinning it in the back right here just making sure it's as flat as possible and like i said you don't have to do this you can actually put it on the caps pretty big even though it's a half wig so today's choice is 18 dollars. this is for ashani so of course diva tress my favorite um so the cap has a giant giant comb in the front just want to let you guys know that's running in the front and in the back and it makes sense because this is a half wig i am five foot ten inches tall so this is i think this would probably be like bra strap length but this one was kind of like shoulders mid length you know for the most part but yeah i ended, I ended up trying to wear this <laughs> you know as a half wig but i was like i didn't really like how my hair was blending so i ended up just using it as a full wig and like i said like you can see here where it's just really tight because the braids were not small enough and i was over it i'm slowly dying inside if you look closely um but i ended up going back and rebraiding the hair and so i set a little bit flatter so i was able to move it around like i said I, the texture is very silky i wish it was a little bit more of a yakky texture so it could be a little bit you know easier for me to blend my edges in with but right now i'm just going in i'm just going in with the wide tooth comb i mean rat tail comb whatever and just going through and blending it in um with the hairline a little bit i'm going with my favorite edge control that i love using which is even and i'm just going through just smoothing it through and of course i'm going to be using uh, it on the inside of the wig as well to lay it down now of course you know um you can glue this on if you want but this is a quick look and i'm mostly in a hat for the majority of the look so i didn't think it was like too important for me to like make sure everything was laid now um, i'm gonna go in right here with the i'm gonna go in right here with my favorite um, mousse from i'm sorry um nairobi uh i want to go i want to make sure I'm, I'm saying the correct way i want to make sure the pronunciation is on point but yeah nairobi is one of my favorite mousses to use on synthetic hair as well as my actual hair as well i went through and just pretty much waved that through and then you know i wanted to uh, like do like a pin curl basically you can do this whatever hairstyle you want i was just trying to go through to see what would work the best so i'm going to go in right here go a little closer so you guys can see um how i try to bring it to life <laughs> okay but i really feel like if i would have straightened the front part of my hair this would have been a beautiful you know installation but you know i'm trying to do no heat this year so i just ended up just using that um gorilla stunt glue to go in and blend my edges a little bit more this would also make an excellent headband wig as well so right here i'm just going through just trying to see what i can play with i put them in twist for no tangles so this is the final result and she could go all the way.
here we go so pretty much um i think i did a good i think i did a fair job if i could give myself i would say i gave myself a b minus for you know because it's a silky texture it's much harder for us to blend with our hair but i like the look um i wanted something different i definitely want to um stick to yaki textures this year but i couldn't resist the waves are so beautiful it's like a classic beauty i mean classic color i mean classic pattern to me so i really enjoyed it a lot let me guys know if you will be purchasing this or not or if if you would have done something different if you have any advice as well on how you would have blended it better definitely sure let me know and enjoy the show Hidden in the beautiful Pyrenees Mountains of France, Bobatin's Magic Academy for the Gifted is definitely one of the top schools that I was interested in. And I found so many, so much information I didn't know. Also, the fact that they have three houses and they have Belfay, Ombelin, and Papillon Lys. So these three different diverse houses, I'm going to be so excited to get into these three as well. And of course, all the credit goes to Adelaide Rothschild, who wrote this as a guide to the Bobotans Academy of Magic. I feel like it was definitely a school that I feel like they can probably do a whole series on. I'm very interested in it as well. It was founded before the 1920s. Bobaton literally means bo, means beautiful. Baton means stick, so beautiful stick, so like a beautiful stick. They're dangerous, but they're going to do it in a fashion that's beautiful. So we're going to go into our first one, Papillon Lys. So basically, this means beautiful. I would say I would say I would say beautiful. But I would say it's like smooth butterfly. So someone who's kind and good natured, very someone who's very interested and you know their fellow man and how they can make things better i feel like this wouldn't i don't know if this would be similar to um hufflepuff but i can kind of see the similarities and the parallels between the um the features of it but i think papillon lis is definitely for sure i would be sorted into this one because i love arts you know i took the time to pick which music which go, would go with which house which music would go with which house which would bring like the type of you know the vibe or something like that i definitely say for sure someone who i could see being sorted into this was um luna lovegood for sure i can definitely see her being sorted into this as well but definitely for sure um it's one of my favorite houses after researching um so we're gonna go into our next one the beautiful mystic basically ombrelin basically it means shadow moon so in the way that the moon is you know it's lights up a dark sky something different right so it's going to be something somebody who's ambitious logic and has a thirst for knowledge i definitely can say as nicholas Femel, he didn't indicate which school which um house he was in but if i was a sorting house if i was a sorter i would sort the infamous nicholas flamel you know the one who's responsible for the sorcerer's stone so i would definitely sort him into this house as well it's someone who's just like very cunning i think it would be similar to almost slytherin um so here we have belle so this is beautiful leaf so the leaf is very important to me as in like it's something that signifies a change of season so someone who's very empathetic compassionate but they're also brave and they're also good at their studies as well so i can definitely say for sure that um all three houses just really just really diverse i really wish they could do a actual series about this i really feel like there's like a lot of potential here just you know day-to-day -day stuff of course i would be teaching music um but definitely for sure i had so much fun researching this and thank you guys for watching now here's some bloopers i am dressed as a beautiful mademoiselle de what are they called i just delete <laughs> Hello and welcome to Harry Potter Week on Claire Hair. Oh, I'm supposed to have a French accent this week. Nah. 